Hi guys, welcome back. Um, as promised, I'm going to do a standalone video on the cabinets. Over the last couple of weeks, we've had hundreds of emails asking specifically about the cabinets, why, where, what, in terms of the company, etc. So for this video, the people who've emailed us, best one's for you. I just wanted to explain exactly about the company. Um, so obviously Jura is a UK based company. They're based in and around Silverstone. Um, we had a few options about which cabinets we wanted to go to. So we had, I think it was one option from America who make their stuff in the Netherlands. That's the factory side. Um, so that was the main kind of cabinet units that we were going to go for. And we almost went for them. But then Steve from Jura is, is one of the directors. He spoke to us, he came up all the way from Silverstone. He explained to us like the quality. So we went down to their factory, which is huge. Um, and we've had a look around their showroom and they could literally customize anything, even the colors and put flags on it, etc. cetera. Um, they've, they've had quite a few famous clients as well. Um, a few people off Top Gear, stuff like that. Um, all the high-end dealerships in the servicing bays, all these cabinets are theirs as well. So we went down there, so we decided 100% Jewish company for us. Um, they came back up with a full team and they did a full CAD drawing of the whole place. So they took measurements with lasers and they said, right, this is going to be your option. They drew us a CAD drawing, so they sent it through email um, and we were like, wow. So we decided to go for it. Um, it was about a eight week, eight to 12 week, I think, um, wait, even just to start the manufacturing, obviously then a two week manufacturing process for these. So again, 14 weeks already in to this. And then we had to wait for a delivery and installation slot. Um, so they all came up here. Luckily then the unit was all done by the cabinets. So installed these, I think it was about two days. On the third day, they're just making sure everything was leveled, etc. So this is why we went with them. It's a local company, um, the UK as well, so supporting the British business. And if there's ever going to be a problem, you know, like five years down the line, you give them a ring and it'll get sorted. So this is exactly why we chose them. They look cool as well. Um, this is totally custom to us. Um, so basically, as far as I remember, the two flanking cabinets, uh, the two flanking cabinets are 1,200 meters, 1,200 mil wide, so 1.2 meters. The base cabinets are all 1,200 as well, and these are mirroring these as well, so the floating cabinets. So I just want to take you through the middle section as well, because the middle section was quite a cool idea. Um, we never planned for it, but the middle section here. So as you're walking through the door you're going to be greeted by this. Now this side is the customer side. It's got a breakfast bar feel to it. So right in the middle, you've got a fridge. It's fully stocked. You've, you can come in here, have a drink, have a coffee with us and either discuss the products or you can discuss the detailing side, which is over there, hidden by the cabinets, the cabinets. Um, so breakfast bar style setting and um, the chairs are comfy. You can speak to us, you can ask us questions. Obviously, if we've got training days, this was also designed for that. The people can watch from a, a safe distance if we're doing anything with machines, etc. Um, it's a good height, everything's here. Obviously, our point of sale system is also right in the middle, so it's perfect. Now, going on to the opposite side, the reason why we did this as briefly outlined in the previous video. Um, we are expanding heavily into, this, um, into Europe. So seven countries on the books now, which is amazing. So thank you for the support, everybody. Um, so this side in the past, we kind of lost a lot of time, efficiency, just running around the unit. Whereas now everything's like centralized. So you literally go all the way, that's the heater. So we build the boxes. So we start here and we work the line all the way down here to where the labels get printed, uh, the boxes get sealed, etc. So it's a 
in essence like an airport trolley line you can go all the way down nothing gets lost you go directly to the shop to pick up the items so we pick and pack all in-house um, which is awesome so leading on to the back cabinets as i said all detail related so this is specifically for us first cabinet here is you've got the big bulk so the five liters you know foam our wash wheels anything like that so we keep that in there so we don't have to obviously keep going over to the shop now each cupboard was specifically designed um, so we can kind of keep the efficiency together so we don't have to keep moving so the first hanging cabinet is exterior so wax wash anything like that foam detailer our Hume ceramic all of that is for the exterior of the car and the bottom cabinet is mirroring the exact steps that you're doing on the exterior so drying towels plush anything like that so we've got the whole cabinet filled with towels whole cabinet filled with our chemicals now the second cabinet is for wheels and tires so our dress wheels and again on the bottom is our wheel towels um, third cabinet being interior so you glass you more um you interior and the lemon deodorizer so that's all for the interior again our utility towels are on the bottom and the fourth and final cupboard is literally for our polishing so ceramics compound polishes pads microfiber pads foam pads all that sort of stuff and the bottom cabinet there was no need to have the towels there because again it's on the exterior so it's our utility cabinet so impact wrenches torque wrenches anything like that so when we take the wheels off we just hide it um, so it's literally ergonomic i think they're eight meters about eight meters wide the cabinets in total so it's a big setup it was heavy quite a daunting install as well because but it fits everything nicely i think the whole unit actually looks slightly bigger now for some reason um, because everything fits so that is the story on the dura cabinets now i'm potentially thinking so myself and kelly um, with because of the amount of emails that we've had we're actually thinking of selling the cabinets. So normal garages are a certain width length um, and these cabinets are usually made obviously to order, but they're made in certain templates, a few of them. So because of that and because of the emails that we've been receiving, asking, can we get this? Can you speak, you know? So, we're kind of the third party because people for some reason find it quite daunting ringing the company. Um, so we are kind of like the in-between. So we are thinking of potentially buying the cabinets in or again, made to order. So if a customer rings us in, says I want two of them and two of them, we'll get them made for them and obviously have them shipped from our location. Um, so that's the potential. We're not sure about that yet. Um, but again, if the inquiries keep rising, you will find these in our store. So apart from that, it was an awesome company to deal with. It's seamless, really. I think we were on the phone only a couple of times. Everything else was the CAD drawings and the confirmation of payments, all of that. So it was an easy process for us, as you would expect with a company like this. The cabinets look cool and um, hopefully they'll last us for a long time. I hope you've enjoyed this video, an insight into the cabinets, why we did it. Um, there's gonna be a lot more content to come as well. Um, and I hope everyone's keeping safe. Take care guys, I'll see you in the next one.